Now, most people think that the cause of heart attacks is high cholesterol, but you know what? It's not. Half of people who have heart attacks have normal cholesterol, but most people who have heart attacks have diabetes, which is the real cause of heart attacks. In fact, one study found that two-thirds of every patient admitted to the emergency room with heart attacks had pre-diabetes or undiagnosed diabetes, and almost none of them were diagnosed. Another important study found that the risk of heart attacks increases with any increase in your average blood sugar, even for those who don't have diabetes. That means even if you have a normal blood sugar, but it's sort of going up, you're at risk. And taking statins, the drugs for lowering cholesterol, and beta blockers for blood pressure actually cause insulin resistance and don't even correct this pre-diabetes problem. Many people believe that pre-diabetes isn't a problem until it becomes full-blown diabetes. It's just a kind of a warning sign, but nothing could be further from the truth. It's an earlier stage of diabetes, and it carries with it nearly every single risk of diabetes. Pre-diabetes can kill you before you ever get diabetes through heart attacks, strokes, and even cancer. Pre-diabetes even can cause pre-dementia. Pre-diabetes cause pre-dementia, which affects a lot of people. That's mild cognitive impairment. It's, think of it as early Alzheimer's. Recent studies have shown that diabetics have a fourfold risk of developing Alzheimer's. And patients with pre-diabetes or metabolic syndrome have a dramatically increased risk of pre-dementia or MCI, mild cognitive impairment. So if you don't want to have heart attacks and you don't want to forget everything, try to get your diabetes addressed carefully and intelligently and use a strategy that's going to deal with the root causes of the problem, not just paper it over with medication.